Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 59 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try to problem yourself. Okay, as you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So we're asked to find the 30th and 70th percentile of X, and we know that X has to be greater than 200, so it's going from 200 to some value, let's say I'm going to start with the 30th, x 30th, whatever that value may be, integrating this sucker out, right? And they say that this has to be equal to the 30th percentile, which we know is 0.3. Okay, okay, so then all we have to do is take the derivative of this. So when we take the derivative, this becomes 2.5, 200 to the 2.5 is just a constant. But right here, this is it technically the same thing as x to the negative 3.5, right? So taking the antiderivative, we add 1, so that's x to the negative 2.5, and we divide by that constant, so that's negative 2.5. Evaluating this from 200 to x to the 30th, whatever percentile that may be, and this is equal to 0.3. Okay, so this actually cancels out here, so this is what you're left with. Putting in the upper limit, you get negative 200 to the 2.5, x 30th, whatever that may be, to the negative 2.5, minus, minus, that's positive, 200 to the 2.5, and right here, this is going to be um, 200 to the two, negative 2.5, which is just puts it in the denominator, so this is equal to 1, is equal to 0.3. So I'm going to send the 0.3 over to this side, so you get 0.7, 1 minus 0.3 is 0.7, and I'm going to send this to the other side, so you get 200, 2.5, but the x to the 30th, 30th to the negative 2.5 is technically in the denominator, right? Negative 2.5, so that's positive 2.5. So I'm actually going to cross multiply because I don't really like fractions. So then when you do that, you get 0.7 x 30th, whatever that may be, to the 2.5 is equal to 200 to the 2.5. Okay, so then multiplying this, dividing this by 0.7, this is what you're left with. So then x to the 30th is the equal to 2.5 root of this number, which is equal to 230.669. Okay, so we have to do this exact same thing for the 70th percentile. So whatever this may be, from 200 to whatever the 70th percentile is, of integrating the sucker out, 2.5, 200, 2.5 over x to the 3.5 is equal to 0.7. I mean, most of it stays the same until this part. Instead of 0.7 here, this is going to be 0.3 is equal to 200 to the 2.5 over x to the 70th percentile to the 2.5. So multiplying the sucker out, cross multiplying, you get x to the 70th to the 2.5 is equal to 200 to the 2.5 divided by 0.3. So then x to the 70th is equal to the 2.5 root of 200 to the 2.5 over 0.3, which is equal to 323.7. Taking a difference, you get 323.7 minus 230.669, which is equal to 93, which is about, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!